presentation of Scoreboard Show. Smoky Hills Public Television is brought to you in part by an underwriting grant. From Rural Telephone and Next Tech, providing the region with telephone, internet, cable television, and wireless phone solutions, Rural Telephone and Next Tech proudly support public broadcasting and all ventures dedicated to improving Kansas communities. Dove Chevrolet Buick Cadillac. Providing sales, service, and genuine GM parts to the Golden Belt since 1957. Located at 4217 West 10th, right next to Brahms in Great Bend. Come see us. Welcome to the award-winning scoreboard show. I'm your host, Larry Calvary. If you're tuning in to see the Red Green Show, it's coming up right after the fastest five minutes in high school football. Let's get it kicked off. We begin with the Phillipsburg Panthers at the TMP Monarchs opening kickoff. TMP kicking to Phillipsburg's number four, Brock Means, who fields the ball at around the 10 yard line, dodges a few Monarch defenders, breaking into the open field, and no one's going to catch Means as he returns it 90 yards for the touchdown. Phillipsburg's number 33, Samuel Sage, carries the football through the middle of the TMP defense, and he's off to the races. Touchdown, Panthers. Nate Pruitt, number six, takes his turn down the sideline for the touchdown, and the route is on. Stewart, number one, Stewart Lenneman breaking tacklers and then scrambles into the open for another touchdown final. Phillipsburg, 48, TMP, zero. And we go to Tescott and Lincoln. Lincoln quarterback number six, Zach Walter, play action pass to number 50, Gabe Gulledge, and the Leopards are on the board. Tescott quarterback Joel McCosh fakes the handoff, but pitches behind number 22, Josh Luter. Scramble for the loose ball, recovered by number 40, Rocker Cruder for Lincoln. Leopards back with the football, and Walter finds number 21, Winter Webke, down the sideline for a nice game for the Leopards. Walter hands off to number 33, Kyle Cabaley, for another nice leopard game. And then here, Walter will keep the pigskin himself and scampers in for the leopard touchdown. We don't have a final on that score as of yet. Then we go to eight-man ranked teams, Victoria at Central Plains. Not exactly sure what happened here, but somehow number 44, Lane Kistner, ends up scoring a touchdown for the Knights. Here then, uh, number three, or excuse me, uh, quarterback Brandon Kreitz finds number three, Lane Beaverly in the end zone. Kreitz elects to keep the ball on this play, and he finds the end zone once again for the Oilers. Victoria quarterback number 10, Brady Dinkle, wants to throw the ball, can't find an open receiver, so he tucks it in and dodges would-be tacklers all the way down to, will he score? No, around to the two-yard line. Dinkle will hand the ball here to number two, Parker Riedel, to finish the job. Victoria touchdown. Central Plains wins this one, 42, Victoria 24. Now here are the scores from around the area. If you do not see the score you're looking for, be sure to check our website at scoreboardshow.tv. On the site, you will find extended highlights from tonight's featured games, plus you can vote on which games our cameras will be at next week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Scoreboard Show to find out where we will be for next week's show. Thank you for watching week one of the Scoreboard Show, and we'll be back next week for the fastest five minutes in high school football. Presentation of Scoreboard Show on Smoky Hills Public Television is brought to you in part by an underwriting grant from Simpson Farm Enterprises of Ransom, Hayes, Great Bend, and Beloit, your local spray coupe and Apache dealer. Dodge City Community College and Area Technical School, where 21st century learning meets real-world application with state-of-the-art training facilities that will prepare all students to excel in the 21st century. Dodge City Community College, success starts here at DC3. From Rural Telephone and Next Tech, providing the region with telephone, internet, cable television, and wireless phone solutions, Rural Telephone and Next Tech proudly support public broadcasting and all ventures dedicated to improving Kansas communities.